gives you the same result that x and p is 1 and x with x is 0. So therefore the definition of a positive bracket is very important. You can always get back to derive uh, the commutation relation. The only guy which does not obey all these things uh, or which does not respect all these things is the so-called spin angular moment. That guy says no. Uh, that's your word, that's my word. Okay, fine. That is also fine, no problems. Okay? Fine. So, and like and, I know A dagger A, if I am not going to list the formulas for the uh, positive brackets A with B, C, or A, B with C, and so on, they are listed in the books. Okay? And the same results hold also for the positive brackets. So they are called classical variables and the corresponding results also hold to analogous for the commutation relations. Okay? Very good. So here one could one could obtain, for example, n with a. Are you able to see it or I go there? Can you read it? People at the back? Can you read the last step? Yes? No, not so no, not so easy. Uh, let me at least mention it here. And A is uh, minus A and N A dagger is equal to plus K dagger. If you like, now I can write it here. And A, and you can derive it because this is A dagger A and A this will come out to be the same minus a and n a dagger would be your this thing with plus each okay dagger is a standard notation in quantum mechanics which always stands for two things complex conjugation and transposition okay for anything so <coughs> Now, we go a little bit further and you calculate A dagger A, I have, you see, you can invert it, let me write it. If I have the value of X and P in terms of A and A dagger, let me call it linear combination. I have defined X and P as a linear combination of A and A dagger. So, I can invert my equations and I can obtain relations for A and A dagger in terms of X and P. So, let me just uh, write these uh, relations. So, A is M omega by 2X cross square root times X plus iota P by m omega and a dagger is equal to m omega by 2x cross square root and x minus iota p divided by I, I would sincerely request all of you and suggest that once you are back home <coughs> please do try to verify this is just algebra I have given the values of x and p, just once add them, once subtract them, and so on. And but try to get these things. If you can start reproducing one-dimensional harmonic oscillator, which has very important result, useful in many things, including our life. I am going to illustrate a few things with respect to some of my comments. Right now, I have a tiny book with me, which is nothing but. Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Uh, I have brought only one copy here, which is Sanskrit to Hindi. Another tiny book, similar one, is lying in my room at Jonar, which is uh, Sanskrit versus English. But here, because of the travel, I have brought only these two. But in general, I also love to keep with me Sanskrit, Hindi, English, Varsan. And uh, usually in the paperback things from Gita Press Gorakhpur, which is very easy to handle, carry and, and read. And I love to distribute also the copies of that. Uh, I, 
I am sorry it did not occur to me earlier. I uh, from Delhi it may not be so. I mean you keep increasing your luggage, right? <laughs> but uh, if it were easier to find a, a Gita Pradesh Gorakhpur shop here, there must be some. Sure, I am very sure people are so much enlightened here. I see everybody with a samtilak on the forehead and so on. They are highly enlightened people. Okay? Looks like pure souls. So, uh, uh, if I could, I would love to, to at least conceptually buy a hundred copies and distribute it to everybody. Because it's, it's worthwhile reading. There is a lot of science. There is a lot of physics in that, which I am going to point it out to you. And you would be able, after I say that, okay, once I am through with the concepts of one-dimensional harmonic oscillator in quantum mechanics, then one could easily generalize, even in my words, you will not be able to follow me, what I am saying. Because a, a field like phi of x mu or pi of x mu, there also I can do the same pocket space decomposition the annihilation and creation operator would now additionally depend on the wave vector k. So momentum p is h cross k. h cross is just a constant h by 2 pi. Okay. So p is h cross k and and this uh, what else? Uh, I will tell you the corresponding for energy h cross omega. Energy is h cross omega and Momentum P is as cross K. So the annihilation and creation operator additionally depend on that uh, wave vector K, between where K in field theory is a continuous variable. Because phi is a continuous, pi is a continuous variable, its arguments are continuous variables x, y, z. So you talk in terms of fields instead of discrete things, right? And so all whatever I am deriving here in quantum mechanics, one dimensional harmonic oscillator, in quantum mechanics, all those relations would hold true also equally well. <laughs> Instead of x, I would call that phi of f mu and I would call it phi of f mu and then this a, let me just put some script k k prime or k k, okay, or k k prime. Or I, I could I could write it at a of k a dagger of k and something like that. Okay. So here uh, I mean k and k prime etc would be continuous variables in four dimensions. In four Minkowskian dimensions. <coughs> t x y z. Okay. And all the derivations that I make are going to hold true there. So in quantum mechanics, I am talking of an individual oscillator, which I always say harmonic oscillator because it's uh, doing harmonic oscillations. In field theory, I would co start calling it a collection of infinitely large collection of <coughs> harmonic oscillators because then all these things would become also functions of k or k prime. Okay or the original variable their functions of x and y. So without repeating my lecture or lectures, uh, I have conveyed you the idea that the same thing would hold true. Okay? And so then in field theory, I would be able to bring out some more physical meanings, additional physical meanings. Uh, if and then uh, Professor Garmiya Pujita happens to organize some workshop, similar workshop uh, related to the basics of that field theory, I would recommend that each one of you must come back on that. In general, she has agreed that she would not uh, ban the entry of those people who have attended their ones. Anybody who wants, you see, once you start learning, you want to learn more and you want to learn more and you want to learn more and you can always treat me as an example. Because I am the senior most person out of all the people sitting in this room <laughs> and I still want to learn. Okay? So that is the essence of life. Until the last day of our life, we should be learning, learning and we should try to learn. And 
रास्ते में बीच में मैं आपसे कुछ लालच की बात नहीं करूंगा कि ग्रेड की बात नहीं करूंगा द फिजिकल असेट दैट यू रियली असेंबल कलेक्ट इन योर लाइफ टाइम यू दे आर इन वेरिएबली लेफ्ट बिहाइंड बट वेन इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ भगवदगीता आई वुड बी टॉकिंग ऑल्सो मैंसनिंग यू द कॉन्शियसनेस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आत्मन which perhaps we don't do it for that we want to enrich our faculty of thought we want to enrich our own uh, thinking for that we need several things we need to learn several things and if at all as we believe the the bhagavad gita uh, or the hindu thought things in terms of the reincarnation or birth after birth after birth right if the some let me not call western either indian or western or the modern scientists if they talk in terms of the infinite number of deaths and the rebirths of the universe of the cosmos then we are ready to believe say within the modern cosmology tells me okay that uh, this mr karl jagan a very very noted planetary scientist from the us is no more i think he passed away when he was still less than 50 so but he produced and he wrote too many books one of them the super uh, famous is known by the name cosmos 